Uh, memorable moments. I think you know all the wins were good, good moments. Uh, you know, I, have, I haven't had a chance really to sit down and look back on it too much. I'm not trying to check out completely because we have a you know a great date with Oklahoma State at the festival, so I don't want to you know end, end, end the football season now in, in my mind. But uh, you know, I think beating Cal and, and retaining the axe for another year is definitely a big part of it. And to uh, to beat USC and Notre Dame, you know, those those type of caliber programs, uh, you know, it's a, it's a big deal for us. What advice would I give them? I think one, you know, preparation is the key to success. Uh, you know, don't don't expect things just to, to happen when you walk on the football field. You know, whether it's a Friday night for your game or a Saturday night, I think preparing is key to you know to winning football games. And and two, you got to put the work in, which sort of which sort of goes in with preparation. You know, when, when other people may be sitting on their butts watching TV, you know, make sure you're putting work in. I don't know everybody else in the nation. I, c I can't imagine anybody that prepares harder um, or anybody that we put more on. Uh, our, what, we, what our coaching staff depends on Andrew to do is rare in college football as far as the, the protections, as far as the running game, as far as giving him three or four options on a play um, and having him be able to do that and operate at such a high level that the guys can know they can do their jobs because Andrew's going to call the right play at the right time. Uh, I think it's it's uncanny and, and really unheard of. Uh, Pep Hamilton, offensive coordinator, uh, quarterback coach here at Stanford University. <laughs> well, I, I think uh, it's no secret that we, we want to run the ball first here at Stanford University, uh, but at the same time, we understand that uh, our ability to run the ball is ultimately going to open up and give us opportunities to, uh, to uh, pass the ball downfield against one high coverages. You know, teams have to adjust to uh, stop the run by putting extra hats in the box, and uh, ultimately it, it gives us opportunities to hit big plays down the field in the passing game. <laughs> well, I tell you what, you know, um, most coaches, uh, we become coaches because uh, we know what to do, but we couldn't do it. So, um, you know, I just, it's a, I have a great opportunity here at Stanford University working with the likes of uh, Andrew Luck and the rest of our quarterbacks, and uh, I'm just excited to be here. And, and uh, I'm excited for Andrew. Um, he, he's a hard worker. Um, he's consistent, persistent, all the above. And uh, he deserves every award he has an opportunity to win. Well, um, I, I've been fortunate to, uh, to, to have worked with some really good coaches uh, in the National Football League in particular, Norv Turner, Ron Turner, uh, Paul Hackett, uh, former USC head coach. Uh, Jimmy Ray uh, and of course Jim Harbaugh um, but uh, you know we're all a product of our exposure and uh, and and you know I've benefited from from being around those guys oh uh, I tell you I, I don't see it changing much I, um, we have a good cast of backs um, and at the same time we, we've, we've done a pretty good job of uh, recruiting offense alignment here that gives us a chance to run our power schemes and, uh, and we'll run first team, and we're going to continue to run the football and, and uh, feature our backs. Uh, but at the same time, we're not one-dimensional. Uh, we do pass the ball. And we, we've been fairly efficient you know, in, in passing the ball downfield and, uh, and uh, making the big plays in the passing game. Oh, wife and kids. Yeah, I have uh, three wonderful kids and uh, a wonderful wife. And, and any spare moment I have uh, away from football, you know, I, I really enjoy spending time with my family. Well, you know, Andrew is, uh, he's one of the guys, you know, and, and, and I mean, he's, he's uh, not the big man on campus. Um, you know, if you turn on ESPN at every, any given moment, you know, there's a good chance that you're going to see Andrew Luck, hear about Andrew Luck, and, uh, and, 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 and he's well known all across the country, but here on campus, he really enjoys being with his teammates. Um, you know, he respects all of his teammates, and, uh, and and they respect him all the same. You know, he is a leader of the team, uh, one of the few leaders that we have on our team. But you know, he is a guy that gets along with everybody. Well, Andrew, and, and not just Andrew, but uh, we, we have really smart kids here at Stanford, and uh, they allow us to do mo do more with our offense. You know, we have a lot of volume in our op offense, and, and most of our play calls. Uh, have at least three options within each play call, and and our offensive linemen, uh, they don't get enough credit for 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 really having the, the ability to uh, go from one scheme and and 
and at the line of scrimmage, you know, change to a scheme that's completely different than than the uh, first scheme that was called within the play. And uh, but all our guys are are, are really really good uh, uh, in the classroom, and uh, they do a really good job of absorbing all the information that we put on them and, and ultimately executing our offense. Oh, without a doubt, you know, uh, the saying that we use in, in the quarterback room here at Stanford is, can you make the appropriate throw? You know, every throw that he makes is, is not necessarily going to be a fastball. You know, he has to make the appropriate throw. If it's, if it's a 50-yard pass downfield, uh, we need to make that throw and be accurate with the throw so that we can uh, take advantage of that opportunity to hit, hit a big play downfield. But he makes the appropriate throw most of the time. Well, we're, we're going to we're playing against a really good football team, and um, they have the ability to uh, score a lot of points. Uh, but at the same time, defensively, they've they've done a really good job of taking the ball away. Uh, we just we have to you know really understand and uh, go into this ball game knowing that that we need to uh, win each play and uh, execute our offense at a high high level. Um, we can't beat ourselves. And uh, we, we've been able to do that throughout the course of the season, and we have to continue to do it in this game if we're going to have a chance to win.